Hi guys, my name is Kyle August and I'm here to help you manifest your specific person. So today I wanted to talk about a Neville Goddard quote in which you don't really want to focus on your 3D reality when you're manifesting. So here's the quote, embodying your assumption is outside the offices of your three-dimensional mind. It comes to birth in a way that no man knows. So when you think about your manifestation, especially of your specific person, it's going to come to you in a way that no man knows. So you're giving birth to this new reality and bringing it to you and your 3D is not going to, well, you can't predict it in your 3D. So many times when manifesting, especially a specific person, we want to, well, we try to focus on everything happening in our external reality, right? We're focusing on what's happening, are they following us? Are they liking us? Are they on Snapchat? What's their snap score? What's their snap location? Like all of that stuff. But really, nothing in your external reality is going to show you how close you are to your manifestation. And this is words of Neville Goddard. So he is absolutely telling you that nothing, once you embody, embody your assumption, nothing outside of you is going to to you're never going to know the exact way in which it comes to you. So in this instance, and in knowing this, you want to allow yourself and your subconscious mind, you want to trust in that and know that it's always bringing you down that perfect path. Um, so when you're looking out, I know it's easy to worry about the future or worry about how your specific person is going to come to you. And the problem with doing that is then we attempt to take action or attempt to, to do things to change the outcome, right? If we see that our specific person, so let's say we embody the state of manifesting our SP. We live in the end and we feel as if we already have it. And then you see your specific person snap score. Um, you send them a snap and or a text or an email or a message, whatever it is, and they don't open it. And I guess Snapchat is the easiest one. You see their Snapchat score um, go up a little bit. So you know that they're on uh, Snapchat. The first thing is that just noticing that and worrying about it is instantly taking you out of the state. Because why are you worrying about that if you felt as if you already had your specific person, right? So then there's a chain of events that's going to occur. Seeing that and worrying about that is going to cause you to then attempt to manipulate your reality. And who manipulates or attempts to change a reality, right? Someone who is not in the state. So worrying about the 3D actively takes you out of that wish fulfilled state. Can you see how now we're kind of thinking maybe we shouldn't be doing that? So again, I'll read that quote one more time. Embodying your assumption is outside the offices of your three-dimensional mind. It comes to birth in a way that no man knows. So our three-dimensional three dimensional mind, our higher self is already knowing exactly how it's going to bring it to us. It's the perfect path that knows that, um, and our mind can never necessarily guess that perfect path. And even if you think about other manifestations that you had, um, or think about something that's really fantastic in your life, and I use this example in some of my videos, let's say you have the perfect friend or the perfect job. If I were to say and go back in time and say, could you have guessed everything that has happened along these string of events to lead you to that perfect friend or that perfect job? And you'd say, well, no, something happened or some things happened that were out of my control that actually turned out to be perfect. And maybe you ran into that friend on the street, like randomly at a cafe or something, or maybe, um, to get that job promotion, the person had to quit or step down. So all of those things are outside this idea of our control, which truly they're not because if you are feeling in the state, you are ultimately putting all of these events in sequence. So every it seems like it's not in your control and that's what the bridge of events is. The bridge of events is in your external reality, this display of sequences of events, like I mentioned, that lead you to your manifestation or your specific person. But again, we will never know the exact path of that. We don't know that perfect outcome. I know it's easy to try and worry about that. It's easy to try to manipulate every single path along the way. Um, but if we just embody that end state, our, our entire reality, our subconscious mind, our higher self, our God state is going to bring it to us in the quickest and the best way possible. We don't even know it yet. 
um, in the same way that if there's any information that you don't know, you can always uh, drift off to sleep asking for the answer and you're going to see uh, that answer be given to you. Um, so, but it's all about trust. So right now I want you to take time to think about, thank your universe, thank your subconscious mind, thank your God state um, for bringing everything to you in the most perfect way. And even doing affirmations or thinking about it like that is going to help you have this trust. And once you have this trust, you'll be able to see the, the positivity in everything that's occurring. Because everything around you, again, is leading you down to your manifestation, to your specific person. Uh, but sometimes we're not able to see it yet. But just like the, the example of all the other things that you've done in the past that you felt were very good, you were not able to guess every step of the way and the things that were seemingly wrong turned out to be the best part of that sequence like running into your friend randomly and now you have a lifelong uh friendship um stuff like that um so hopefully all this makes sense and hopefully it helps you trust in your subconscious mind trust in your universe trust in your god state that it's bringing your specific person to you in the best way possible you don't have to worry about anything all you have to worry about is embodying the state uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. Um, if you came from my TikTok um, or if you want to check it out, my TikTok is a Manifestation Man. Also, if you wanted extra coaching or personal coaching, head over to my website, uh, kyleaugustcoaching.com. I'll leave everything uh, right there. Uh, but make sure to check out uh, some of my other videos. Hopefully you liked it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And But I'll see you guys next time.